Now it's time for Yin and Yang Show movie review. We had the pleasure of screening Andrew Lau's mm. The Guillotines. Following is my review of The Guillotines. Andrew Lau's The Guillotines does not feature the notorious vertical beheading device best known for its use during the French Revolution. I dreamed a dream in time gone by. Andrew Lau's Guillotines are skilled assassins of a secret government agency run by the Qing Dynasty, which was the last imperial dynasty of China and led by the Manchurian Chinese. After the Ming Dynasty and before modern Republic of China, both which of both were led by the Han Chinese, these skilled assassins of Qing Dynasty also wielded a deadly mystical Chinese portable beheading device, which was also called the guillotines. But somehow, this secret organization and its deadly beheading device got erased. From the history of Qing Dynasty, <laughs> unfortunately, this film does not show you much of the magical beheading weapons actions after the first ten minutes of the movie. <laughs> that had to be very disappointing. I was so disappointed, to Jack. Yeah. When I was watching this film, I thought that the guillotines had certain religious messages. <laughs> Which generally does not happen in Chinese movies with government seal of approval, because the first part of the film resonates with Chinese version of Jesus Christ and certain diabolical symbols, such as a laughing goat. Nah. <laughs> as a result, I was wondering: Are we seeing a fundamental shift in Chinese government-approved films? The answer, however, is no. The film continues with what seems to be a message to their citizens. The message is pretty clear. Pursuit of the Golden Age, and what the government needs to do to achieve such results for their citizens, perhaps a little sacrifice and removal of dark stain from the past. This film, interestingly, does not demonize foreigners like other typical Chinese films. It demonizes the Chinese themselves. Well, to be technically be correct. The film demonizes the soldiers of the Manchurian-led Qing Dynasty. <laughs> to a certain extent, Qing Dynasty soldiers were committing genocide of the Han Chinese, who are the majority race living and ruling the modern China. Similar to how German soldiers behaved against Jews during World War II, or how Roman soldiers may have behaved against their colonists. While searching for Jesus, women and children were not exempt from senseless executions. Again, I thought that this film was really a message about what the government must do to move forward and achieve the golden age for its people. No one goes hungry. You know, they gotta feed on those、uh, Smithfield pork, if you know what I mean. <laughs> this this film attempts to tell this message by showing conflicts between King and Han Chinese. With a bit of Last Samurai and Dark Knight flavors, <laughs> this film is not so much about the actual mythical or mystical weapon itself. It is a film about the members of the guillotine branch, just like the modern day CIA or MI6, and how some of the assassins transform themselves based on their conflicts and relationships with rebel Han Chinese. Not Han Solo. But rebel Han Chinese. This film re-emphasizes the fact that you cannot win a fight by bringing a sword to a gunfight, even if it is a magical beheading sword. One of the memorable lines were, "Guillotines may reach 50 yards, but guns and cannons reach much further than 50 yards." If you're looking for a pure action flick, this film probably isn't for you. And there's no real romance in this film either. But if you enjoy deciphering Chinese government's secret messages behind the modern Chinese films, which I like to do, 
you may want to check this out. Coincidentally, uh, this media screening of the guillotines took place in New York City on June 4th, 2013, which marks the 24th anniversary of Tiananmen Square protest of 1989, also known as the June 4th incident in Chinese. Uh, based on this coincidence, it made me wonder whether it had anything to do with Chinese government's wish to remove quote unquote a dark stain in order to move forward in achieving quote unquote the golden age with lots of US products where everybody's happy. Perhaps they want to quote unquote erase it from their history just like what they did with a mythical or mystical Chinese portable beheading device and their secret branch called the guillotine. This Andrew Lau's film opens nationwide on Friday, June 14th, 2013 by WellGo USA. I give this film two and a half dim sums out of five possible dim sums for guillotine. And that has been Jackin's movie review.